Okay, now with the finished product, I wanted to take some time to talk about some modifications or alterations that you can make to the gate. And I'll start off here talking about this piece that's used to hold the gate on. So if you look at the way the gate is held on, we're limited by where this arch connects here um, as to where we can actually position the gate up and down. So we want, we can go up, then there's a little gap there. So we, you know, the position is about, I felt it was pretty good right there. However, if you do want to modify that, or say you don't have a lot of these pieces, you can simply make one the old fashioned way, taking the one tiles in dark gray, and you can stick them together like this, and you have the equivalent of one of these pieces. The, the nice thing about going this route is you can also take the, the hook piece, and you can either stick it on the top of the two plates, or on, on the bottom of the two plates. And that allows you to rearrange, if you see here, the location of that hook, allowing you to you know, adjust the gate up and down. Okay, So that's one modification you can make with this. Um, it's not a huge modification, but say you don't like the positioning of the gate, you can play with that a little bit. Another option that I want to point out is I use the, these dark, or the black gate pieces. However, the there's also other gate piece options that give you a different look. Um, this one I didn't use because it I, I liked the arch look of this, but you can use this square one here. Uh, it works just as well. It's not quite as tall. And so if you know if you if you have that piece and want to use it, you can go ahead and go that route. Uh, another option here is I found that these these one bricks with the holes for the technique pins were a little bit rare even though you know I've collected quite a bit I've used up pretty much everything that I had and so if you don't have a lot of those I feel like these black bricks with uh, the technique hole in the middle is a little more common and so if you don't have the dark gray uh, I would match the black of the the base plate as well as the black decoration pieces and the rest of the gate that I'll have later on uses the black as well so the black would be a, a nice complement color if you don't have the dark gray. Um, just kind of a fun little finishing touch that I thought might be fun as well is if you have one of these little tiny chain pieces you can put that on there it's kind of you know mysterious you can't get into the the, the locked graveyard look. Uh, one other thing that I did want to mention about the design is these column pieces I put included those there you could just as have easily have used them as uh, use brick pieces instead, uh, but the column adds a nice, um, I think a nice te texture to it. And I also included those column pieces on the corner pieces that I'll be showing how to build this uh, in another video uh, on the back side. And so that kind of ties in a little stylistic piece there. Uh, I guess one other feature here that um, when I designed it, I had two options with these cheese blocks, one having a facing out and one facing in. And so if you want, you can take uh, and, and style it a little bit different. Uh, I decided to go with the style out uh, because it makes it look like you know, horns or something of that nature. Okay, so those are a few additional design items that you might take into consideration when making your own version of the gate. Uh, hopefully you check back in a couple days to see the other versions for the, the, the fence piece as well as the corner piece.